Hello. In this video, we're given the graph of a line in red, and we're asked, what is the x-intercept of the line? So we're focusing here on an important vocabulary word from this section, the idea of an x-intercept. So if we think about what the word intercept means, we can think of it as meaning to cross or to intersect. And we're talking about an x-intercept, so we're thinking about where does the x-axis axis, excuse me, intersect the line that we were given. So if we look at where those two lines cross, we can see it's happening right there. So this point, shown in blue, is what we would call the x-intercept of the line. It's where that line intersects the x-axis. To give the location of any point on a coordinate plane, we need to give that as an ordered pair, remembering that we always fill in first the x-coordinate and then the y-coordinate. So if we look at this point here, I've blotted out the number under that blue dot, but you can see this was negative 2, so this would be negative 3. So that's my x-coordinate. That's the value on the x-axis is negative 3. Now we need to find the y-value. So if we go from this point and look back at the y-axis, here's my y-axis running up and down. This point aligns with the value of 0 on the y-axis, so my y-coordinate would be 0. It's very important when you're reporting an intercept to always give both the x and y coordinates. So if you're doing this on WAMAP, you would enter your answer just like this, with parentheses and commas, and a zero there. Um, something that can be helpful to think about and to remember whenever you're setting up the answer to any type of intercept question, if it's an x-intercept, the y coordinate will always be zero. If we're looking for a y coordinate, the x-intercept. The x, sorry, if we're looking for a y-intercept, the x-coordinate will always be 0. So whoever's intercept you're looking for, if it's the x-intercept, will have a uh, value.